Janice Houston, good morning. Good morning, Houston. How are you this morning? We're doing fine. It's a big day. And uh, when the roll is called tomorrow, Shannon should be up yonder on Mir. Yeah, we're looking forward to it, Chris. Houston Linus, we got Mir inside in the coas. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston at call from uh, pilot Rick Searfoss on board Atlantis indicating the crew has sighted the Mir space station as uh, it inside in its crew optical alignment site, uh, an optical site that's mounted in the windows of Atlantis cockpit.
incredible view of the Mir space station over the Earth. Shelly, we're with you on the flight tech now. Congratulations to all of you on just a fine rendezvous. No response required. Please feel free. Hi, Linda. Hello, Ricky. Looks like we're in time to see a sunset on the mirror. Spectacular. Atlantis Houston, your go for shuttle ODS hatch opening for Delta P under point two. Okay, we're opening the hatch. We have a good image of you, Jelly. The two of you look great. So it looks like they're welcoming you aboard. Atlantis, please, Atlantis Mirror, please verify you've installed the shuttle mirror air duct.
Atlantis and Mir, Houston on air to ground one. Please verify shuttle Mir air duct installed. Houston, uh, Yoda's going back to help out with Rick. We should have that vent uh, hooked up here in just a moment. Copy, Joey. Shannon, how do you like your new home? Oh, it's just great. Oh, I think we finally have everybody here. Okay, well, it's a bigger crowd than we usually get in space at one time. Oh, well, uh, I'd just like to begin by saying uh, this today has been kind of an unreal day and a very real day for us. Uh, the whole approach coming in, though, everybody kept commenting on board the shuttle how well, we just can't believe we're here. Uh, Mirror doesn't look real, although it certainly is, and it looked gigantic on the way in. Um, and that's the unreal part of it. The, the real part, though, is the fact that there's a space station up here, and uh, we flew a shuttle up to it and docked to it. And it's a, uh, just a good reminder now, having done this three times, that this is uh, the operation of doing this is maturing and that uh, this is what we ought to be doing. Uh, this is the first time in my three shuttle flights that I've actually gone someplace when I left the planet Earth. And it's a very nice feeling. Well, Kevin wanted me to say something that I just want to say I'm happy to be here. And Kevin did a great job, as well as everybody else on uh, 76, getting us here. Thank you, Shannon. You're too kind. And, uh, Dave, we've uh, brought some books along for the children of Yuri and Yura, because we both share the same dreams. And that is for uh, future space exploration uh, and for the future of our children. And we both have talked about this before, and we know it's very important that uh, we continue on with our exploration of space and the construction of the space station and, and beyond, uh, not only for ourselves, but for our children. One of the finest aspects of our programs.
ahead, Shelly. Yeah, Bill, I'm over in uh, Mirror with Yuri, and I bought the PTBA, uh, Autumn 47. And there, he told me there's a refrigerator inspector. He wants to know if I want to stow it in there. My checklist says base block. Uh, Chili, um, we think it needs to go into uh, the refrigerator in the base block. And uh, Spectre, uh, it, uh, we think it's too large to go into the TEF, and uh, it needs to be refrigerated and not frozen, and that's why we don't want it in the TEHOF. Okay, so you want it in the base block, uh, and perhaps, thank you. Six that is in position 500 and just check that the green LED is on. Okay, I'll look at position 500. Thank you. Atlantis, we're getting ready to start uh, T cell step six uh, at two days, one hour, and 51 minutes. Copy that, Linda. Did you have a completion time for uh, FO10 step 11? We may have had ready come and I didn't copy. Uh, I think I called that down. Hold on. Thanks, Chili. And Bill, it's flowing now. Copy. Atlantis, uh, we do have a camcorder for t uh, configured for glove box downlink, if that's what you prefer. Uh, that's correct, Linda. 